welcome back to my channel. This is Shamel Tobias. So today we're diving into the fascinating world of hormones. So have you ever wondered why we experience mood swings, changes in our bodies, or even those unexpected bursts of energy? Well, it all comes down to hormones. So to understand hormones better, let's start with the basics. The word hormone came from the Greek word hormon, means to excite. They are chemical messengers that are produced by various glands in our bodies. They are released into the bloodstream and travel to specific target organs or tissues where they initiate or regulate specific processes or activities. Hormones play a crucial role in maintaining overall bodily functions, coordinating growth and development, regulating metabolism, and influencing mood and behavior. Let's say this gland is like a little post office and this envelope is like a hormone. So this gland releases this hormone and this hormone travels to its target organs delivering its specific functions like a meal. Did you know that our diet can also impact our hormone levels? Certain nutrients like healthy fats, proteins, and vitamins play a crucial role in hormone production. So it is important to maintain a balanced diet to keep our hormones in check. Remember, eating well is not just about looking good, it's also about feeling good. Apart from our diet, regular physical activity is another essential aspect of hormone balance. Exercise helps regulate hormones like cortisol, which is the stress hormone, and boosts endorphins, those feel-good hormones that enhance our mood and overall well-being. So our endocrine system, which consists of various glands, is responsible for producing and releasing hormones. These glands include the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, the adrenal glands, and many others. Now let's talk about some of my favorite hormones and how they impact our bodies and minds. Let us not forget about our old friend, cortisol. It is our stress hormone and it is released in response to stressful situations. Today, we're diving into the world of cortisol, the hormone that can make our stress levels skyrocket. Our adrenal glands situated just above our kidneys are like tiny stress control centers, and within these glands, cortisol takes the center stage. Cortisol is often called the stress hormone, but it is important to note that it's not all that bad. In fact, it's a key player in our body's stress response systems. When we encounter a stressful situation like a looming deadline or even a challenging event or situation, cortisol gets released in our bloodstream. It prepares us to fight or flight. But here's the catch. Our modern lifestyle can sometimes lead to chronic stress which means cortisol keeps flowing longer than necessary. Things like a poor diet, lack of sleep, or excessive caffeine intake can exacerbate this. It's like a never-ending coffee break for cortisol. However, we can help manage cortisol levels by adopting healthy habits. For example, eating a balanced diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables, getting enough sleep, and practicing and relaxation techniques like deep breathing and meditation can all be beneficial. While cortisol plays a vital role in our lives, it's all about finding the right balance. Understanding how to manage stress levels is key to maintaining our overall well-being. So remember, let's be kind to ourselves, find healthy ways to cope with stress, and keep your cortisol in check. Sometimes, too much cortisol can lead to feelings of anxiety or even difficulty sleeping. And also sometimes, when our melatonin levels are disrupted, it can lead to sleep disturbances. You know those nights when you just can't seem to fall asleep? 
Melatonin might be playing some tricks on you. Now let's proceed to the next hormone, melatonin and serotonin since they are related with each other. Today we're also going to explore the fascinating relationship between melatonin and serotonin, which are the two key players in our sleep and mood. Let's discover how these hormones work together to keep us balanced and well rested. And speaking of sleep, melatonin is responsible for regulating our sleep wake cycles. Melatonin is produced and released by the pineal gland when darkness falls, signaling to our body that it is now time to wind down and prepare for a restful night's sleep. As melatonin levels rise in the evening, serotonin levels naturally decrease. And speaking of serotonin, let's uncover the secret behind this mood-boosting neurotransmitter called serotonin known as the feel-good neurotransmitter. Within our brain, there are billions of neurons and serotonin acts as a key messenger between these neurons, transmitting signals contributing to our sleep-wake cycle, mood, appetite, and overall well-being. However, light affects its function. Regular exercise also plays a significant role in serotonin production. So when we engage in physical activity, our body releases endorphins which stimulate serotonin production. Apart from that, nature, my friends, is a serotonin booster in itself. That's why spending time outdoors, soaking up sunlight, and immersing ourselves in green spaces can increase serotonin levels and improve our overall mood and well-being. That's why when we are stressed, our families and friends encourages us to uh, get up and get moving, go outside and have some fun, go shop, go eat good food. Because even just by walking outside may stimulate serotonin production that helps us boost our mood. Here's an interesting twist between melatonin and serotonin and how they influence each other. So a good night's sleep with ample melatonin release supports serotonin regulation. When we're well rested, our serotonin receptors function optimally, improving our mood and mental health. Sometimes, our natural melatonin production may need a little help, especially when we're facing sleep challenges. In such cases, melatonin supplements can be used to regulate our sleep-wake cycle, but it is important to consult with the healthcare professionals and follow the recommended dosage. Examples for uh, balance for melatonin and serotonin is dimming lights, reducing screen time before bed, and establishing a consistent bedtime routine can support melatonin release, promote restful sleep, and help maintain serotonin levels. Remember, sleep and mood are intertwined and melatonin and serotonin play a pivotal role in finding that balance. Just a quick reminder, our hormones are a natural part of who we are and they contribute to our unique experiences. That is why it is essential to embrace and understand how they function. So that's it for this vlog. Thank you for joining me on this hormone journey. If you found this vlog helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting content. Until next time, stay hormone healthy my friends. This has been Shamel Tabias from BSN11. Thank you for watching.